Okay, so with the new year unfolding, it's no surprise many of us like to reflect on the past while also looking forward to the future. And this is exactly what Mosey will be doing in 2020, here to talk about what's to come and how their latest exhibit will be looking into the history of space travel, is Rob Lampke, the Chief Operating Officer. Good to see you. Good to Happy see you new again. Year. Thank you. Same to you. I love kind of checking in with you at the start of the year because I think in, in our fast-paced world, our fast-paced city and county, right. Things happen fast, right? I mean, it, you know, science, we're always talking about the speed of uh -huh. light, but it really seems since we reopened in 2017, that's just been our everyday yeah. operating business as things are uh, happening all around us. They're happening for us. It's it's truly yeah. a really exciting period of time. And it is exciting because at one point we thought, what is the future of Mosey? Yeah. Is Mosey going to still have a footprint here yeah. in the Tampa Bay yeah. area? And the answer is yes. Absolutely. You know, it's it's exciting right now, and and if you're following any of the news, yeah. the conversations are going on everywhere. And for Mosey to three four years ago have been you know rumored to be mm -hmm. closing forever, to now being unbelievably viable in yeah. our Fowler Avenue campus, and to be really involved in two conversations, um, you know the the downtown yeah. development, and then you know really the exciting uptown development that's yeah. going on around Fowler Avenue and and you know the uh, innovative businesses that are coming in there mm -hmm. and the county looking at developing the Mosey property. It's, uh, it's an unbelievable situation to be in two exciting yeah. conversations. But the one thing I do know is that Mosey as a brand, as an entity, as a uh, community partner, not going, not anywhere. going anywhere. Not going anywhere. And you're showing this off first with this, this exhibit that just opened up in November, right? It opened up in late November, okay. right after Thanksgiving. It opened up. Uh, it's called Spacewalk. Okay. And th it's a play on words because you're walking through the exhibit, but the exhibit is all about space and about space travel. So we said, let's just be simple and call it Spacewalk. Yeah. Um, and it showcases uh, the human spirit and interest in space travel throughout the years. Um, so not only dating all the way back to the initial stages of mm -hmm. developing these vehicles for space travel, but to then getting into showing the technology behind a rocket yeah. like the SLS and how technology has advanced. And we typically think of technology shrinking the things. Yeah. You know, we look at phones, for yeah, instance. Yeah, right. And Everything shrunk. gets smaller. But because the technology now has advanced to a point where we need to go into deep space and, you know, where we've never gone before, the technology's actually gotten bigger because they need more fuel. They need ah. more technology to get to where they're going. So it's a, I, I have to think, um, and I work there, so I'm yeah. biased. <laughs> it is, uh, I, I think this is one of my favorite exhibits just because I've been a space nut my whole life. Well, what's interesting, because I grew up here in Tampa and I feel like Mosey was associated. I mean, when you thought of Mosey right. as a kid, I mean, that was one of the first exhibits that I remember seeing yeah. when I was a kid was, you know, the yep. concentration on space. Oh, absolutely. And, you know, we are so lucky to be living here in Florida in our proximity to NASA. Yeah, and I know you've East had Coast. great support from them. and Fantastic support. They've given us artifacts. Facts. We have speakers that come out and engage with us. We uh, they've made all of their educational yeah. programs public. Um, they're a fantastic partner yeah. of ours. I want to make sure we get to this. Sure. So this is an exciting um, piece that not many people get to touch. This is an actual heat insulation tile from a space shuttle. So this has actually been the space. Wow. Um, this is what on reentry prohibits the. Well, I was just. Gonna, this yeah. is always in the news of what it, could cause. It is, and Problems. we all know the unfortunate incidents yeah. that happened with the Columbia. But here, so, let's, let me, uh, oh, here, wait, I don't want to do that, though. Here, let me move this so we can absolutely. really show, make sure jo Jordan can see it. So what I want you to do is put your finger right in the middle okay. of that. Let me see. <laughs> and so we're going to get the flame going. So that is an intense, direct flame. Do you feel any heat coming through there on your finger? No. Mm -mm. So that just proves in this little period yeah. of time, very lightweight. Yeah, you can feel it. So this is just the simple technology that used that okay. is used by NASA to prevent burn up on reentry. Wow. And it's just a great little display we do with kids. We do with outreach programs okay. because they see that flame. We're out of time. Oh, it's hot it. on the other side. It is. Yes. We're out of time. You just have to come back. We didn't even get to what's coming in the summer. Oh, that's so that's right. an excuse to come no back. No worries. Okay? No worries. I'm available. Super excited I'm about what's call. coming. Okay. Sounds good. We need Absolutely. to get out there too. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Look forward to seeing you again you soon. Bet. Of course, we'll put details on our website as well. Well, hey, up next, how yoga may help you achieve your fitness goals this year. We're going to introduce you to a new yoga studio in town and show you why they believe yoga should be for all.